On today's stream, I started series three of YouTube's oldest and possibly scariest analog horror series. That's right, Marble Hornets is back with its third season. And I've heard this one is the best of them all. This is a pretty long series, and I've been watching it for quite a while. So be sure to check out this playlist to make sure you're caught up on everything so far. But if you're all up to date, then enjoy. This is the same scares you're going to be expecting. And if you do enjoy, please feel free to subscribe. Every single time I watch Marble Hornets on stream, it gets uploaded to this channel. So if for whatever reason you can't catch those streams live, sub to this channel so you never miss them here. Anyways, all that being said, I hope you enjoy this stream. And the ones that I've been watching the tapes from the safe, I've seen how dangerous Alex really is. This is where it ends off. This is this is the, this is the, the key for season three. Looking back on it, he never intended to help me. Probably just wanted an opportunity to type another loose end like he did with the others. I'm not going to sit around and let him get away with this anymore. If he's still alive, I'm going to find him. I thought the tapes might show me where he's gone, but they never show him leaving the town near Rosswood Park. Okay, since there's no other choice, I've come back to, e for, uh, to look for either him or a clue as to where he may be now. So he's gone, oh sorry, I'm, I'm actually in the way. Or what happened to Jessica? Yeah, because Jessica, we have no fucking idea where Jessica went, who's kind of another victim in all this. Yesterday, my first day back, I saw this in the downtown area. So he got heads back to where Alex tried to kill them. And look who he finds. He finds Tim. Just walking around. Just strolling. He's just walking. Menacingly. Either way, what does he say about it? It was Tim, and he seemed to be acting normal. I kept my distance and ended up losing him shortly after this. I'm going to keep a low profile while I try to figure out what he's doing here. Tim is a dumpy, not gonna lie. Why are you looking at his ass, bro? He's like evil. Come on now. I'll let them more entries when something happens, but I don't know how long that will take. Regardless, I'm going to see this through to the end. And that's where season two ends. And now we're on to season three, which is where we are now. Which begins with entry 53. This is where season three begins. Sherlock in here, thank you for the tier one. Marble Hornets, my favorite holiday series. I love Christmas. I've seen Tim in the downtown area a few months ago. I began to try and figure out why he was here and where I could find him again. Peekskins, thank you for the two months. Two months cheeky smiley face. This place is pretty far away from where all... Uh, Sorry, hold on. Yeah. This place is pretty far away from where we all lived when Alex was shooting Marble Hornets. So it's a really strange coincidence that I found both Alex and Tim here. Oh yeah, because Alex moved here and, and, and fucking Jay showed up to find him. There's no reason why Tim should be here because Marble Hornets was filmed fucking miles away. And Tim only knows them through filming on Marble Hornets back when they were in school. The building that I saw Tim come out of was an antique store. Very pretty home actually. It's got like a little tower at the side and stuff. It's very nice. I know it's not a home, it's an antique store, but like it could be a house, you know? It could easily be a house and not a store. But it was in the process of going out of business, so it was unusual. It was usually closed. I had to wait a few weeks for the store to open before I could talk to anyone that worked there. 
I was just wondering if you have seen a guy come in here. He's probably about my age. He's Let me know if the uh, the sounds off enough or he's like got dark hair, sideburns. You know, have you seen anyone in here recently like that? Yeah, I see a guy that comes in here like that. He's sometimes he comes in when he's uh, looking for his. He says he has a doctor's appointment. Okay. Um, do you know where he might be going? Um, well, well, I don't know. Office? There's a doctor's office down. He comes into the antique store and is like, I got a doctor's appointment. Do you have any antiques? On the street, so he may be going Right down the street? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Okay. Bro's just stalking. Yeah, but to be fair, these people are weird. Let me go off down the street from here. Turn out to be a mental health clinic. To be fair, I'd want a fucking mental health clinic if I'd been through the shit Tim had been through. Like, I'm gonna be honest, like, it's pretty harrowing. I, I get that. There's no way anyone inside would tell me if Tim had been there, so all I could think to do was wait outside to see if he might show up. Back every day for the past week. All right, yesterday about eleven a.m. <coughs> hey, hey, Tim, Tim. Hey, uh, you're uh, Tim. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, it's Jay. Jay, do you remember me at all? Mm, you know, no. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, remember, uh, uh, I helped you, or like you helped. We, you and I both like we helped Alex Crayley with the student film Marble Hornets like a few years ago. You remember? Yeah, that? kind of. That was kind of a long time ago, wasn't it? What are you doing around here? Uh, well, you know, I'm I'm glad I ran into you because remember, uh, I told you a while back that I wanted to finish it for him because you know I didn't want all his work to go to waste. If you're, uh, you know, okay. if, you're, yeah, if, if um, you're still interested in it, we should, yeah, like... Yeah, sure. Um, can we talk about it some other time? Because I'm really late for my doctor's Oh, visit. yeah. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you some other time. Grab a phone number or maybe, like, an address or something then? Instead of sitting down like a weirdo again and just waiting to catch him outside of his doctor's office. Sometimes Jay ain't the smartest, is what I've realized. He pisses me off. Like, he's like... Yeah, we will talk another time when I stalk you again. Like, just grab contact information, bro. Ah, yes, of course. The same thing to do. Hey, Tim. Oh, hey, yeah, sorry. I didn't know you were going to be waiting outside. Otherwise, I would have tried to, like, pick up the pace in there a little bit. Oh, no, I mean, I wasn't, wasn't like, uh, wasn't sitting outside waiting on you or anything. I was in the air. He, Tim handled that surprisingly well. Someone t I see someone waiting outside my doctor's office, that office the whole time. I'm like, what the fuck? Did you just wait for me? Like, I haven't seen you in years. That's... God, he's weird. Jay is... He's got some fucking strange social skills. Right? Anyway, so... I just figured I'd stop by here. So I just noticed we got uh, a, a, little, a little donut that I annoyed. Uh, I like pickles. Thank you so much uh, for the pound. Uh, oh, God, we got a lot of them. All right. So what? Well, We'll let them play out at the end of this episode. We'll finish the episode and then we'll let them Real quick and see if I could catch you on your way out. Okay, fair enough, I guess. Yeah. Uh, uh, I didn't, like, ask you this before, but is every is everything okay with you? Like, you doing okay? Uh, yeah, you know, just work, school, the usual. Like, I mean, I just saw you going into the that clinic, so... <laughs> is everything okay Ooh. with you? Yeah. A little bit of a distortion. That's that, that's that operator sickness. I mean, you know, I was okay? having some personal issues a few months ago, but, you know, everything seems to be going pretty good now. Okay, so you're doing fine? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, well, you know, uh, about helping finish Alex's project, you know, if you want to, you're still interested. Uh, oh, okay. Hello? Yeah. <coughs> yeah, sure, I'll be right over. Okay, bye. Sorry, I was work, I gotta go, but uh, you got my number, right? Uh, no, actually. Can you give it to me real yeah, quick? Yeah, yeah, sure. Or, I'll just, just give me yours and I'll put it in here. Okay. Uh... 
How did it take fucking Tim being like, you've got my number right, for Jay to go, I mean, of contact. Like, oh, Jay is a silly little boy sometimes. You ever think about that? He's not the best. He ain't no Sherlock Holmes. You know what I mean? He, he, you know who he is? He's like the fucking w Will Ferrell Sherlock Holmes. You know that movie, Holmes and Watson, that was like complete dog shit? He, that's, that's who he is. Yeah, no number, I get that. Got it? Uh... A little bit of distortion. Yeah, I got it. Okay, cool. Well, uh, I guess I'll just give you a call whenever I get off work or something. Okay, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you then. Yeah. <laughs> Does he not question him filming him, even? Like, the whole time he's been filming him? Part of me wonders if he took up smoking to mask the operator sickness. Like, oh, it, it, like, no one's gonna question this cough if I have cigarettes in my mouth all the time. You know? It's definitely operator sickness though, because it distorted the camera. He didn't seem to remember anything else about me, so I decided to keep acting like I needed his help to finish my other lines. Can I forget you don't have to pause? These things kind of sound the screen for a while. Oh yeah, in Entry 15, he like, since it's what I did when I met with him back in Entry 15, I figured I'd stick with that story. After Tim left, I stayed in the downtown area for a while longer to look around. You know, what I can't wrap my head around is, you know Tim's masky, like, you know he's fucking attacked you and shit. But at this point, is he kind of, like, understanding the operator sickness and maybe thinking that, like, he doesn't remember? Because, like, he's like, oh, he's acting normal, so then he thinks he can approach him. I'm just curious. Oh, let me pop over to this. Wait, what did that one say? Tim left to stay in the downtown area. Oh. Is that a roller coaster? A wooden roller coaster? It's probably not, but it looks like one and that looks fun. No, it's a bridge. That's a bridge made of um, wood? Is that wood? Hello? Uh, hey Jay, it's uh, Tim. Hey, what's up? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can, uh, if you can find them, I'll take them. I'm sure I can use them for uh, for something. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm not entirely sure what they are right now, but um, if you'll give me a little bit to try and find them, then I'll let you know. Okay, yeah, just just let me know. Cool. All right, cool. Um, I guess I'll uh, talk to you later. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bye. to walk around like a, a a nice little fucking rural path in the sunshine right now i got like a weird like feeling of joy when i i looked at the gravel beneath his feet and the scenic uh, i'd love to walk down that path i thought i was finished with the marble hornets tapes but i guess tim has a few more Uh, I don't know if they'll be of any use, but I'll take whatever might lead me to some answers. Oh, wait, is this to the arc video? Oh, it is. I know you. Right, here's with it to the arc. Do you remember me? Oh, what was that?
Okay. I can't seem to make out all that face is, though. That's someone's very heavily distorted face. Oh! Hoodie, right? Hoodie was the one filming him from the background, I, f I recall. Was it Hoodie that would always film from afar? I have not forgotten. This is like a message from Hoodie being like, Hello! Remember me? It's definitely someone they know from the past. Yeah, Hoodie. Oh yeah. Oh, let me play the donuts real quick. Let me play the donuts. Let me just uh, thank some subs and shit because we, we got some subs to thank. Hiya, Jack. I must know, are you a James Acaster enjoyer? I do like James Acaster. He's very, very cool. He's a cool little guy. I like him a lot. Very, very cool. Have a griff. Thank you for the tier one. Oh, I've got itchy hands. Brian. Someone just said that. Ebby, thank you for the five gifted subs. And Kaiser, thank you for tier one. Uh, tier what? Let me just um, thank some people. Uh, Asher Koifish, thank you for the tier one. Gundid, thank you for the tier one for two months. Mizu, thank you for the prime. Control um, Ari, thank you for the five months. Looking bold is beautiful and always. Uh, looking bold and beautiful as always. Uh, King, hope you have a wonderful Christmas. You too. I hope you have a fucking freaking. I hope you have a freaking Pog Champ Christmas. Uh, let's see who else. Uh, Vampire IRL, thank you for the uh, prime for three months. Rebecca, thank you for 14 months. Coffee Talk, thank you for three. Someone donated five and said, Hi Jack, thank you so much for watching Marvel Holics. I love it now because I saw you watch it. If I can't make it to a Christmas stream, have a lovely Christmas, King. Hope your day's been good. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Uh, Lelissi, thank you for the nine months. And CB, thank you for the uh, gifted sub. Either way, we've, we're, right. Now we've read all those. I didn't want to leave you guys hanging. Let's get on to entry 54. Tim recently called me saying that he found his old tapes. Oh, cool, we got those quick. No way. He told me to meet him downtown during his break from work to get them. Hey. Hey, Jay. Here's, uh, here's those tapes I was telling you about. Okay. So I can't work out why, given that Tim's masky, he's now helping Two months, Jay. Yippee. Has he forgotten? Like, does he not remember being masky? Does he only do that when he's like, really fucking operated up and he doesn't remember? Or like, what? That's what What's the deal with all this stuff? What stuff? You know, the whole pointing your camera at everybody's face. Thing. Oh, uh, I'm just, you know, trying to, trying to document this whole, this whole process of getting all of Alex's stuff back together and finishing this movie for him, you know? Okay. Uh, are you making some kind of behind-the-scenes feature or something? Something like that, yeah. Okay. Uh, what's, um, what are on those tapes? Oh, I don't know. I wasn't able to watch them. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not the movie guy, so I don't have a camera that'll play those kind of tapes. Well, what'd you, what'd you shoot them on? Oh, uh, Alex lent me one of his cameras to, you know, keep me out of his hair, I guess, so okay. I wouldn't bother him. I gave the camera back, but not the tapes for some reason, but I guess okay. they're yours now. All right, so, uh, yeah, well, uh, with them. thanks uh, thanks again for, for helping me finish this. I mean, I'll help however much I can, but I mean, if you couldn't already tell, my work schedule's kind of packed, but I mean, if you really think this movie's worth finishing, then yeah, I guess just give me a call or something. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I, I think it's worth finishing, so I'll, right. I'll, I'll watch these, I'll, I'll call you. See ya. All right. Tim seems like he so can't be fucking bothered with him, and it's really funny to me. We've already begun to watch the new tapes. So far they consist mainly of behind the scenes style footage from when Marble Hornets was being shot. Unsurprisingly, they're all unnumbered without, and without dates. Oh, goody. The following footage is taken from the first one I watched. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah. I got it. Back to being really low quality and grainy because it's supposedly from like season one's era. Lighting, I guess, is the word. That was fun. Oh yeah, pouring rain. Awesome. Mm. Oh, Seth is Have you seen Alex? Oh, um, he said he was gonna run home and change shirts because obviously he's kind of soaking right now. But he said he was gonna be back in a little bit. So. Yeah, unless you want to wait for me, she's probably gonna go. All right. See you. See ya. Well. I don't really have a reason to be here anymore either, since we're, I guess we're done. Alright. So. Yeah, I think we're just going to be like wrapping it up back yeah. here, so. Alright, see, see ya. We're here in scenic Tim's apartment. Very scenic. Uh, in his music room, complete with box of thing. A box of thing? Keyboard. musical Keyboard. masterpiece things with our hands. Ukulele with Tim attachment. I just learned this song like two minutes ago. Very funny. Another keyboard. Complete with beats. I define song pretty much right now, because this is, this is atrocious. Why am I holding the camera? Because you're the movie guy. And you'd be the behind the movie guy. A little bit more on topic. Uh, oh, there's Brian. What's up, dude? That's a nice towel you got there. Oh, thanks. That's a nice That's a nice hair you <laughs> Guys, we have to script in some usual friendly behavior so we can prove that when they're not under the influence of the operator, they're at normal guys. What would normal dudes who are in a room together, what would they, what would they talk about? Come on, I, let's think about this. Maybe, what if one of the guys had a sick towel and all the other dudes were like, That's a sick towel, dude. I think dudes do that. I think they do that. <laughs> Fuck it out. I always see my boys walk out of the shower with their towel and I'm like, that's a sick towel, dude. That's a... I'm jealous of that towel. Uh... Oh, there's Brian. What's up, dude? That's a nice towel you got there. Oh, thanks. That's, that's a nice towel you got there. Nice that's a nice hair, hair, hair you got there. Oh, man, my hair always looks good. Mm. That's why I'm the star. <laughs> um, but Seth and I have been going over the footage and I think we have enough now to where we can start putting together our trailer. Trailer. And I've been thinking about music. I think I want to go more along the acoustic lines. So, do you want to help record some stuff, maybe with the ukulele? Or I could something? probably do that. I mean, I got this ukulele like a week ago, so I can't exactly promise that I'd be very good at it, but I can always try. Well, you have a, what I assume is some sort of guitar thing. You so can. Is it going to be like? Is it going to be like this dark? This be significantly more lighting. Okay. Well, I also like to be able to see, so I'm going to go try and find the breaker box. I don't even know where it is. I've never had to use it before. Ow! Not there. Nope. <laughs> okay, no lights. Funny. <laughs> well, never mind. <sighs> never mind again. Bro didn't see the fucking. 10 foot tall man in the in the corner of his room? Is that me bro missed that? Great. Power's just Okay, the operator's not there anymore. It's interesting to know. Good news, guys. We have flashlight. Oh, dude, you just Even better out. news. Guess what's battery powered? Oh. Oh! That's so much better. I like I like Alex before he went fucking insane. He seems kind of funny. Well, hey, about that acoustic soundtrack. I guess that's the only choice we have now. So, um. Jam session. Yeah. Audio cuts out after a distortion. 
I'm gonna get a good lighting on Alex here. It looks so dramatic. He's not even the prime. More so soon. That was quick. The first tape ends there. Oh, Jesus. Oh, more, more to the art. Okay. Oh, this is the, this is the tape. This is the tape uh, that Alex and Jay, the operator attacking him and his girlfriend. You caused this. You will never be forgiven. So is it, it's a message to Alex saying you won't be forgiven and Jay's gonna leave me to you. That's the whole reason to the Arc's interested in Jay, right? Just to lead you to Jay. Oh, what, what were the numbers? To the Arc feels less cryptic in season three. The, the messages seem much easier to understand. Season two, to the Arc, seemed fucking cryptic as shit. Are they the same both times? Oh, they were. Okay, let me... Let me just check what that says. Um, numbered alphabet. A little look. Okay. Uh, N O. Hello, Jack. No. Thank you for being my comfort streamer and for That's making right. me smile. Anyways, what are you most excited about for 2023? No choice. That says, what am I supposed to talk about for 2023? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I, I just, I, I, this year I, I did a lot of traveling and stuff, but next year I really want to knuckle down and make some content. I'm just going to be making some sick content for 2023. My main sort of thing. I just wanted, like, this year was, like, low-key a shit year, in my opinion. I had a kind of a shit year. I mean, there was some really good bits, do not get me wrong, but overall I'd, I'd categorize it as pretty shit. So I'm just looking forward to having a fucking good one. Uh, but yeah, the the numbers say no choice. So my face, my fucking fat head's in the way. Part of it, but it says no choice. Always washing. All right, I'm not just sorting the order. Oh, and there's binary here. All right, come on. What are you saying? Okay. Um. Uh, okay, decay, the process of blah, blah, blah. You cause this, you never forgive him, blah, blah, blah. No choice, half a numeric. The creepy red-eyed figure represents the founding member of TTA. It's heavily associated with red eyes and it has red eyes. If run through a spectrograph, the noise of the final seven seconds spells out today is your last birthday, with four circles below it. Alex's birthday is April 4, as confirmed in entry 37, which is also the day this video was uploaded. And I suppose it was uploaded at a different time. The image at the end, when the signal plays, resembles a distorted green eye. Jay's the only member of the Marble Hornets crew with green eyes, as far as I know. But it is probably to symbolize TTA, your seeing eye. Description, end him. Messages uh, in the beginning are overlaid on footage of Alex and all the bad things he's done. TTA is accusing Alex of causing this. This is all the events of the series. The OP, uh, the operator of pain, death, disappearances, the memory loss, all of it. He'll leave me to you. Jay will lead TTA to Alex, or so they think. Cool. Huh. That was, I didn't realize that. That was on his birthday that the operator showed up at his house while he was there with his girlfriend. Not important, but yeah, fair enough. Beware the spoiler man. I know that sometimes that guy spoilers things, but uh, my main point was I just wanted to like kind of, you know, I wanted to know what the spectrograph meant because I don't have time to run the audio. Yeah, definitely. Definitely that was TTA being like, Jay will lead me to you, which is what he's been trying to get him to do from the start. Following footage is taken from another one of Tim's tapes. It looks like it takes place near the end of the day's shoot. Ooh. Hey Alex, the other day when you were talking about needing uh, abandoned locations for Brian's school, like in the movie, did you ever find anything? Not yet. Um 
for Brian's school, like, in the movie? Did you ever find it? Oh, the abandoned place where fucking Seth... No, not Seth. Brian went missing? Someone went missing. Anything? Not yet. Um, the only places around here that are abandoned looking aren't going to let us shoot, so the pickings are kind of slum. Okay, well, the reason that I asked was because more there's, of my like, money this because old... You deserve it, bald man. Love oh, thank you. I appreciate it, Abel. Burnout it. hospital so looking kind of place back where I used to live. Um, that might pass as a school. Uh, if you want to go check it out, we can, but it's kind of far away. Well, does it look like a hospital, or do you really think that it could? I think possible? it could pass as a school. Okay. Uh, well, I haven't found anything around here. How far away is kind of far away? Uh, <laughs> far enough that we probably need to split gas money. Fair enough. Um, well, like I said, since I haven't found anything, I'm willing to give it a shot. Can you do Friday? I'm free all day. I actually have a doctor's appointment yeah, Friday at like 2, but if you can do Saturday, that would be better. We uh, kind of have to make a weekend out of it anyway. I can do Saturday. Uh, Brian, since you're going to have to be there anyway, can you do Saturday too? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Well, uh, let's shoot for Saturday then, and uh, we'll give it a look. Okay. All right. Sounds good to me. Why did I just, like... Why don't I just go, okay, as if I was part of the plan? Like, I'm gonna go along on the weekend with them? Catch- uh, no stream tomorrow, guys. I'm gonna be going with these guys to look at the abandoned hut. I, like, got- I got immersed. My ass got immersed for a second. You see that? I was like, yeah, okay, dudes. Uh, all you need to do is go stand by the, uh, that notice sign over there, so yeah, and just look into the pool, intensively. And, uh, I'm just gonna get a shot of you. All right, that'll be good. I'm always really curious what Marble Hornets means. So obviously in the context of the series being called Marble Hornets, that's because that's what Alex called his movie. What the fuck did Alex call his movie Marble Hornets? That's what I'm trying to wrap my head around. Every shot of this guy's just been a moping shot so far, I swear to god. Sorry. Of course he attends for that. Hello? Yep, Friday at 2. I'll be there. Oh, just headaches, paranoia. Trouble sleeping. I haven't had a full oh, night's sleep in. Headaches, paranoia. That that sounds like operator sickness, my boy. Weeks. Well, I've kind of had some history with this kind of thing before, but I'd rather hey, Jack, not. Hey, really about appreciate all you have done for me over the last few years. People love oh, Monkey Gang Robert Downey Jr. Thanks a lot. Thanks That's so okay. Much. Hmm. All right. See you then. Sorry. You see, this seems early on into Marble Hornets, but then Tim's saying that he's had issues with those things before, as if he's had interactions with the operator for a while. But Alex seems pretty friendly there. He he handled Tim's phone calling quite calmly, and as we know, like as, as he gets further further into the operator sickness, he gets really fucking cranky and shitty. Um, I don't know. It's just a little bit... Hmm. Sounds like... It... Wait, no, Tim did get it first. You're, you're right. But then if it's all Alex's fault, according, according to the arc, how does Tim get it first? But you're right. The, Tim seemed to have it. He, there's that one video where he comes in coughing and shit. Weird. But then it appears he's, it, like he's been around Alex his whole life, the operator, right? Because there's that video of Alex when he's a kid uh, on his birthday and the operator shows up. So... Tim's mentioned that he has a history with his symptoms. They sound similar to what Alex seems to be experiencing throughout shooting Marble Hornets. They have the 100 bits. It's possible, it's possible what he's describing could be the early stages of what eventually led to this. I 
I like the fact that they uh, call back to the entries. That's kind of cool. They haven't done that yet. There's only a few of Tim's tapes left. I'm going to finish going through them as soon as I can. Okay, so season three isn't just Tim tapes. That's kind of interesting. Is that it? Cool. All right. No, no to the arc video. Entry 56, straight into it. I'm down to the last couple of Tim's tapes. Following footage is taken from the next to last one that I have. You know what, take more. I don't know what to do with it, but again, have it. Way! Thank you for the £8.29. Appreciate it, Abel. I almost thought you'd given up on this place since it's been so long since I told you about it. Yeah, stuff came up. That happens. We actually going to be filming anything today? No, I'm not going to shoot anything without Brian here. Okay, when's uh, he supposed to get here? Well, he'll be here tomorrow, and Seth will be here later today. Is this the near the abandoned hospital? Right. I just want to kind of wrap my head around that, because, um... Actually, 51. They walk along tracks in this room. Right? Yeah, fine. okay, this is, this is near the abandoned hospital. Okay. All right, so we're just kind of doing... Preliminary location scouting. Yeah. Works for me. We're gonna take a wild guess and say that this is it. Uh, yes, that would be a uh, correct guess. Um, let's see, if I remember correctly, I think it's three floors, a basement, might be able to get up on the roof, so. We can just kind of go in and take a look around if you want to. Yeah, right. Pretty fucking big hospital. There's a lot of graffiti on the first floor, so I'm not sure how much of that you'd be able to use. Shame. Big shame. As you can see. Oh, I'd love to film something in an abandoned building at some point. I just think they're so cool to film around. Uh, even from yesterday. Glad to have stream. been here forever and finally able to subscribe. Hey, appreciate this it. This is my Thanks favorite so series. Hope you enjoy. It's really good. I'm really enjoying it. Look at like those fucking fallen stairs and shit. Like, that's such a cool looking thing. Also, yeah, it said Bones outside. Like, Mr. Bones! I don't remember who Mr. Bones is, but I'll remember at some point. <coughs> is there a building over there? Why do I think that was me coughing? I thought, I don't know, that sounded like my cough. Like yeah, but it's cough. just like a hey, well, annex. Like the, once I see it, Nothing I special. See it. This place is way better. No, let's go. I want to see it. Nothing. Building over there? Yeah, but it's just like an annex. Nothing special. It. This place is way better. No, let's go. I want to see it. <clears throat> well, I'm kind of not sure if I feel like I'm up to going to another place. Why? If you don't well, mind. I do mind because there is no way this place could pass for a school. I'll just go over there with Seth when he gets here. Fine with me. <laughs> Wait. Hey man, you look absolutely fabulous as always. Thank I you. hope you're having a great time with your family smiley face. I am, I'm having a wonderful time. It's lovely seeing them all. Um... <coughs> when the operator goes for Brian, right? Yes, the operator shows up when they're with Brian. Alex! Seriously, come on! Yeah, Tim was found in that abandoned bill, that was it. Like, they try and film some stuff with Brian. Yeah, okay, just making sure. Making sure. I don't remember. Sorry. Well, you know, compared to the rest of this place... I was trying to make sure, because when he took Brian here, which th I think this is later on down the line, not... I, I don't think this is the same... This is Entry 51, this is the back end of Season 2. Uh, Jay finds an old tape of Alex taking Brian here to film some stuff. Uh, which could just be the Sunday they're talking about. But, uh, the operator shows up and, like, does some shit. And then, uh, Brian, looking for Alex, finds Tim just cowering in the corner. Tim? <coughs> Tim! Alex! 
nuts! Seriously, come on! And then just legs getting dragged away. And then the camera comes and gets picked up. And they leave, assuming by Alex. I'm just making sure that this is the place. This room doesn't really have a whole lot of graffiti. Fine with me. Okay. So that's the camera go. Well, you know, compared to the rest of this place, this room doesn't really have a whole lot of graffiti in it. You could probably use it at some point. Don't you think? I don't understand this sort of thing about like the rooms having surely an abandoned school would be covered in graffiti. Like imagine all the ex students that would go yeah. there and do it. I mean, unless you're okay with having like Nancy Hart's Kevin on the wall or something. That was the okay with having place. like that was the operator symbol on the wall, by the way. If you spotted that, they have a whole lot of graffiti in it. The you could probably on the wall, right? use it at some point. Right there. This. What do you think? Yeah. I mean, unless you're okay with having like. I wonder why Tim knows this place. And if this is the place that they first interact with the operator, which I think it potentially might be, that would explain why Tim has the sickness first, because he's the first one to know about this place. Nancy Hart's Kevin on the wall or something. So are we going upstairs or downstairs? Let's go up. Okay, well, the stairs that go up are all the way over there, but we can do that. I'd be scared of, go scared of going upstairs in an abandoned building, though. Just in case the foundations aren't, you know, sturdy. Maybe this room down here will be, uh, more to your liking. So I'm not exactly sure what you're really looking for, but... This dude, maybe? I don't know. Okay. Well, uh, there has to be some room in this place that you like somewhere. Because this place isn't exactly tiny. Mm. I gotta take a leak, hang on. Is he just about to piss? Is he just about to piss up against the fucking wall? Oh yeah, he's for real just gonna like piss out the window or something. Oh no, oh no, he- okay, he's gonna take himself away. That's good at least. Yo, um... We still haven't been down to the basement yet. There might be some place down there that we could use if you want to head down there. So do you want to... Fuck! Fart noise. Sorry. The fuck? Wait, so at what point is this? This is clearly later down the line when, like, Alex clearly is a bit fucking weird. He handled the phone call, like, so well. He didn't seem too, like, cranky by that point that I figured he wasn't deep into this operator bullshit, but... Never mind. It appears he is, because he just beat Tim over the fucking head. Oh, it's a metal rod as well! Fuck me! Shit. That's an operator cough. Just, yeah, coughing distorts. Can't piss in peace anymore. I know exactly. The homie's gonna fuck you up. Is that it? The whole clip. Shit. Well, guys, I would love to stay and watch more, but the problem is, we only have four minutes until I have to raid over to the Prime Video UK channel. And I don't really get- I don't get to, um... I don't get to choose when I raid, so uh. Thanks for streaming this again, smiley face. You're fine, but we we have literally we have four minutes, and that's not enough time to watch this. So uh, I guess we leave it on a cliffhanger. Take care, everyone.
Uh, have a great, have a fucking great holiday. I, I don't want to see one. Bye bye.